This is my little red gill booby. And it's a fly I used to fish at far more years ago. It's a lot bigger than this, but I trimmed it down to international rule sizes. And it's a really good fry pattern. Obviously it's white, <coughs> but it's got that silver hue with the flash there. Um, but it's the hot spot, uh, the red floss at the gills, that I feel makes all the difference. Not a difficult fly to tie, but one that's certainly very effective come the back end of the year when the fish are locked onto high protein food sources. So I start with a hook and advice. This is just a, a standard wet fly hook. Comp heavyweight, B175. Um, just a wet fly hook. Bit strong. These hooks are strong, they're thick wire. And I use a light Cahill thread. You can use white. This is on the bench, so I'll use this one. Come in behind the eye and just wind down and snap off your tag end. I want to wind down to a point just opposite the barb. Just where the barb is there. And I've got a little bit of marabou. Spin it in my fingers. Um, and I just pull it through my thumb and forefinger. It just makes it thinner. Thinner profile for tying in. And I catch it in up at the top. Just about where my booby eyes will be. It gives me a marker if you like. Right down to the end of the tying in point. Put them with scissors. And snip off the waist. Like I say, easy fly to tie. Um, one that's very effective though. You can see that. You can see all the different triggers on it. Spawn. So my, my tail for international rule sizes is basically the size of the hook, the body that I've just done. And that will keep that in that 15, 16, 7 inch. So I've got some spectra dubbing, hens. And the colour I'm using is like this weird grey. It's number 15. Um, how would you describe it? Pearlescent. Um, sort of grey pearlescence. Just a really good colour. Especially for fry patterns. So I'd dub a... A nice tight rope on. Not too thick either, otherwise you get fibres everywhere. Nice and slim. Lined up in touch and turns, obviously, covering the, the marabou. I want to give myself space where the booby eyes are going to go on. So just create a little taper here. There you go. And you can see that silvery light bright spot on. So for the girls, I've got glow bright number four. And I'm going to double it over. Once, twice, three times. And what that'll do is, so I've got four strands, double it over again. I've got eight strands, so eight strands. Catch it on perfectly on the side, so it needs to be bang on the side. Again, using that taper to work with. Pull your other side back and lock in. So it's either side of the fly. Do not want it up? Do not want it down? Either side. And then I pull the fibres, you can see where my taper starts, I pull to the, the eye of the hook. That's when I'm going to snip it. Just at an angle there, eye of the hook, snip. And I'll just pull the fibres back. That's enough, I don't want too much, I just want enough so that it's a trigger. Uh, if that makes sense. It's a little hot spot there, a little trigger that breaks up the white. I'm always a big fan of contrasting colours on, on patterns, um, especially fry patterns. It's something that's hurting me. So I've got some medium booby cord, and I've just smoothed off the edges a little bit here. Um, I've got a groove in the middle, so I know where the middle is. <coughs> and what I'll do is I'll just wrap my thread over that twice, three times, pull it tight, and it locks it all in place. Locks it perfect. And I just start winding on till it locks on the hook. And then what I do is I come around one eye and the hook shank three times. One, two, three. And then I turn it and do the other eye. Eye and hook shank. One, one, two, three. And it locks everything in place. If you do, you do figure of eights as well, but that way it doesn't move either. It's just spot on. And I just pull the eyes back. And I tidy up the head, the head here. Just a little bit of whip finish. Like I say, great fly for um, fly feeding times. Great fly in the point for the washing line as well. Um, cast it at sighted fish. You can fish it static also. But it's a really good choice um, come the back end of the year for the better fish 
obviously the ones that are eating other fish. <laughs> that's that's the key for this thing. But a really good fly, a really good fly to use. You can tie them bigger, but just for competition sizes, that's the one that does it for me. Tiny bit of varnish in there, or super glue. Um, but those eyes won't move. That's him. A little booby. I really hope you enjoyed that. Um, please subscribe to my channel for other fly patterns and fishing videos. Hope you enjoyed that. Take care, folks, and see you soon.